Hello, cell biology fans. We need to work on the next uh, piece of our protein slash gene for the disease project. And what I wanted to do was have you look at your proteins domains. So one of the things you can use in XPASI is something called ProCyte. And if you go to the XPASI site, as shown here, hopefully what you can do is type in the top search bar ProCyte. And let's see if it comes up with the right one. So I see it here. It's searching for ProCyte, protein domains, families, and functional sites. Um, Interesting, it didn't actually bring up any hits, but let's click on ProCyte, and it's there. I don't know why it comes up with zero hits, but what you do from here is you are going to copy and paste your protein sequence into the box on the bottom left. And so I've already copied, and I'm pasting. Oh, I'm trying to paste. There's a protein sequence. And I think one of the things you want to do is click off this box to exclude motifs um, with a high probability of occurrence because we want to see all the motifs. And a motif is just another sequence that ha it looks like a domain. Okay, so click that box off, hit scan. You will wait for the tool to work. And it might take a couple moments because it's doing a lot of work. Do, do, do. Okay, and there it is. There's the sequence that I pasted in. You can see if you scroll down that right here it has a domain called a STAS domain and it shows you the, new, the amino acid sequence for that domain. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look up what that domain is thought to do. And as you go down through these different domains that it finds. Interesting, I don't know what... So uh, this second one here, SLC26A transporter signature. So I want you to look up each one of the ones that it finds and write for me a little bit of what you find about those particular domains. Here you can see that you have uh, protein kinase C phosphorylation site. So a particular protein kinase will phosphorylate. In this case, you can see it's serines or threonines. Um, the next one, a kinase, a casein kinase 2 phosphorylation site. Ooh, N meristylation site. That's adding a lipid group to the, to a, what's N? N is asparagine. Then you have another N-glycosylation site, so those are sugars that can be added to asparagines. And in this one, it's a cyclic AMP and cyclic GMP-dependent protein kinase phosphorylation site. And so I want you to have all of those okay, written up. You can copy and paste this all in, but I want you to do some work now. I'm going to give you two weeks to do this. My recommendation is you get it done soon because not next week, but the week after we have an exam. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to write up what each of those uh, domains look like, not necessarily look like, but what, what it means. If it has this domain, what does it do? Does it phosphorylate something? Does it get phosphorylated? Does it act as a kinase? Does it bind to something? You can do it, and I trust you. Use the tools we have. You're smart. You can do this and I'll put an upload for you on Canvas. Thank you.